What's going on YouTube and welcome to another video. If you like what you see here, don't forget to like and subscribe so that way I can get the motivation to keep making you guys more awesome content. If you don't like it, leave me a comment as to why and I will get back to you as soon as I can so that way I can improve the videos for everyone that's watching. So today in this video, we're gonna discuss are j -Bow slash j -Cod pumps any good? Now, this is a very controversial issue and I'm going to give you my thoughts. Could I have lucked out? Possibly yes, but I don't really think that, that that's the case. Now, I have uh, seen, I haven't actually experienced any other pumps per se because I really have had no issues uh, with these j bow slash j -Cod pumps and it didn't warrant me changing out pumps. So, let's get into it. Let me discuss my uh, experience with the j bow slash j -Cod pumps. So, this as you can see is my 40 gallon breeder fully rimmed aquarium. Uh, it's drilled, plumbed, it's running a 20 gallon sump. I know there's a huge mess of wires here. Um, I'm working on cleaning them up, but as for now, they do their job and I don't really see any issue in them being like this. Um, if there was, uh, I would have changed it by now. But let's go ahead and go forward. So this tank has been running for the past two plus years. I started about two years ago, August. So um, this August should be its two year mark. So this tank has been through ups and downs, algae blooms, anything that you can imagine. This tank's probably gone through it. It's gone through a move. Um, yeah, so it's been through it. Uh, so when I originally set up this tank, it was all about budget. Now, I know there's some equipment on here that you might say not quite budget, especially the uh, BRS 1.1 milliliter per minute pumps uh, because those pumps are around $70 each. But hear me out, I purchased every single one of those pumps used and I have had zero issues. Shout out to Telegram, uh, Jim, he recommended these and he told me just pick them up used and you should have no issues. As you can see, I'm running four of them. Otherwise, everything on this tank is relatively uh, cheap. So we have those, we have, you know, a heater controller right here. We have a Bubble Magus Curve 5. Um, so very bottom of the bucket. This uh, ATO uh, setup here is from eBay and I've had zero issues with it. It has been more reliable than some of my more expensive ATOs, hands down. So back to the pump. So in this tank, I purchased a DCT 8000 pump and Beyond that, I picked it up used from Amazon. I think I probably paid somewhere around $40 uh, for it. This is probably a, around an $80 pump or so. Um, I got it really, really cheap, and I ended up going a lot bigger than I needed to just because I felt like dollar for dollar buying this one used would be the better bargain. And I've been running this pump nonstop for the last two years. I think I've cleaned it maybe twice, and like I said, I moved with it and I have had zero issues with this pump. Zero issues. Um, so yeah, I pumped this tank myself. I did a couple of basic research. As you can see, it has dual drains and one center return, and that's what's powering it. Right now it's around 80%. Uh, before that it was running closer to 50%, but now I bumped it up to around 80%, and it's been super reliable. Let's see if I can get you a better shot of it. It's pretty filthy down there. Um, but it is there. So in my experience, I've had zero issues with this pump. I think it's a fantastic pump to start with. Will everyone have the same experience as me? Probably not. I know some people that have some pretty horrific stories of j -Bow pumps. I am not one of them. I've been completely satisfied with this pump for the last two years. And if a $40 pump, um, even an $80 pump can last me two years, um, I mean, come on, that's really a bargain. You really don't have to worry about anything else, um, especially um, not spending about three, four hundred dollars on a more expensive pump to do basically the same thing. Now, yes, it might be lacking in some features that some other pumps have, but otherwise, I mean, there's really nothing else to it. So I have that DCT 8000 over there running like a champ, zero issues. 
As you can see, I have this mini, uh, this is a J-COD version. Uh, it's a 2000, uh, DCS 2000. I kind of just use it as a mixing pump. I don't really use it that much. That's why it looks in such good condition. No real issues with this pump. And if we move over here to the trough system, this is also running on a j -bow pump. Now this is, uh, the way this is set up, uh, water pumps from this container right here to the top, and then the top uh, has a reducer that increases the water pressure that comes down into this guy, and then it drains, the bottom one drains back into this one. So uh, the pressure coming down from this tank creates uh, the flow, most of the flow from the nozzle. It also has a wave maker in there. Also j Bao, by the way, uh, but yeah. So this is running a DCP 5000, you can see it right here. And I really like this one because like it says it has sine wave technology. Don't ask me what that means, I really don't know. But the good thing is it can tell you how much wattage output is going on, whereas the one over there is just set up to let you know um, how much percentage that you're running at um, with the different levels um, of increase or decrease in power. But this one will also, not only will it increase, uh, it will tell you how much wattage it's using to do that particular level of efficiency. So, um, yeah, so as you can see, there it is down there. I also have had zero issues with this pump. This pump has run virtually dry a few times um, and still no issues with that pump whatsoever. So, bottom line, I know it's a mess down here. It's the weekend, we're doing maintenance, we're doing projects, we're doing some DIY stuff. So um, it's a little bit of a mess down here. Um, we'll jump into it in another video. But yeah, if you're interested in a j -Bow pump, I'm not sponsored by j -Bow. I don't really don't think anyone is. So I'm just letting you know, go out, try it out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, try something else. But for me, it's been completely reliable, flawless to the point where I also run these JBAL CP25 uh, gyre style wave makers and those I will get into in another video. So thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comment section below and then we can discuss whatever issues you have. If you would like to reach out to me in any other way, you can email me at budgetaquatics at gmail.com. And that way we can talk about it and we'll see where we go from there. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.